Hi, I'm Farah Henry Jones, an English professor here at St. Clair Community College. At St. Clair on Friday, April 3rd of this year, we had a film discussion, a discussion about a film titled Beyond Beats and Rhymes. And what you're about to see are some comments from that discussion, uh, which was facilitated by Danny J. Rodriguez, a local uh, hip hop aficionado, uh, uh, an expert in the field, and a lead away. Thanks a lot. Say that this is not, we don't have to go by this list here. You know, and I'm sure that when we answer a question or make a comment, or ask a question, we're going to probably jump around to other questions. But they're buying it so they can sag. It's everywhere. They see it on the TV. I want to be like them. But in the media where we see our newly elected president, they don't want to be like them because on the block, it's not cool not to sag. It's not cool to pull your pants up because then you're selling out. You're trying to be white. You're trying to be something else. Middle school, elementary school, I was the no. I was a guy always getting A's on the test. You see what I'm saying? Um, of course, everybody gets kicked with things of that nature, but it never made me say, I want to sag my pants or I get D's to fit in. Because when, when, when we look at you know, the, the global aspect, who wants the world? Nerds. What we have to do, we have to teach ourselves, we have to teach our children the truth. You see, you can't allow yourself to become programmed. Yeah, I hear people say mainstream, and then they'll say, oh, but, you know, and I just want to, that's why we ask that question, is it really, if I, if, if, if you know, because, the, the TV's on, do we, do we accept those images? But you can't, I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. Well, I was just going to say, I was wondering in my sociology class that if everything affects the socialization of the child, your environment, everything. It is to blame because, I think, mean, with a lot of things, it's just you want to blame it on one thing, one idea, one person, just be like, oh, it's you, and that's it. But, I mean, with most things in life, it's going to be a combination. You hear that, and then not to know what's real, like to be yourself, that's what hip hop is to express how you feel, you know? Broken with that. And I remember there was a scene in, in Walking the Line, not to cut anybody off, where he goes in front of the record executive, Johnny Cash, and he sings a song about Jesus. And the record executive says, I don't want to hear that. Right. And he says, I shot a man, and I watched him die, and he got signed. You know, so I, I think there's a historical, you know, that we can, we can say, we can pinpoint a time and say, yo, this is what, you know, and like he was saying, with Birth of a Nation, President Woodrow Wilson was like, this is a good movie. Yeah, the president. You know, so it's like, you know, there's, you know, if the president, and they consider Woodrow Wilson the most progressive president that we had. Right. And, 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 you know, so, but he's saying, oh, this is a good movie. I, I endorse it. So that's, that's this historical president. You know, we still have people, you know, unfortunately, there is a society of white patriarchy and white supremacy. And it's as sad as that is, there is institutionalized racism. And we need to address that. And that is something our generation is able to come up and fight against. That is something, you know, the ball has been dropped somewhere along Generation X and the hip hop generation. And now it's our duty as the younger generation to step up and fight this. I just want to say real quick, thank you everybody for coming and being very respectful and mindful of each other. And definitely put your hands together for a day.